What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors, House by Outdoor Crew doing this adventure starts here. Land between the lakes. So we're fixing to hit the road right here. This is land getting going into land between the lakes. There's 49 miles of road going that way, going north, and we're going to do all 49 miles today. But we're also going to do see see what off roads we can take this two wheel drive Titan, and where we can go, where we can find dispersed camping. First stop we're going to make is going to be the South Visitor Center. There I hope to be able to talk to one of the rangers to find out what is available for a two-wheel drive such as myself. And if, you know, we'll go from there. Hopefully see some bison at some point, elk, and do some other exploring and find some really cool things. So let's get this thing going. Wish me luck. Alright guys, girls were very helpful in the um, welcome station. I'm at the south end of Land Between the Lakes. We're going to be working our way north and we're going to see what we can see. I did buy a pass. I know some people say don't do it, it's not worth it. But I did buy a pass for the elk and bison uh, preserve up here. And we have several other areas that we can go through and check out. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm ready to get this thing going and we're going to see where we can go and where we can't go. Uh, I've got several things marked on Gaia. They did give me a good map on places I can go around here. Um, pretty much as she stated is the, the 100s are safe for two wheel drive vehicles. Anything above that, you're going to be getting iffy. Uh, 200, she said, are passable. Maybe muddy, maybe this, maybe that. So we're going to try to stay away from the 200s and 300s altogether. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going, to, um, we're going to check this out. And like I said, I'll mark on Gaia as we go if I find anything um really worthy of doing and everything and may camp there soon all right guys let's get this thing rolling man i mean can't do anything else at this point just figure it out we've got maps galore we got gps units let's go let's get it okay what i'm about to show you is a furnace that was built here in 1854 and all this limestone was mined out of these hills here this is the iron ore furnace that was built here uh anyway i'll have a little more information on it but that's uh, pretty wild they built all that here by hand all right guys right up in front of me he's on the road he is on the road there's a coyote running he ran across i got a picture of him i'll throw in right now i don't think i'll get to him. Oh, you can probably see him right now. He's right there in the middle of the road. That's crazy. Running off in the grass right now. Look at him. He's just running down the road. That's a coyote. You know, here of late, I've been seeing the coyotes out during the day more and more, which is kind of odd. There he goes, went up in there. Let's see, he stopped. There he goes, right there. He's going up the hill, he's on that hill right there. He's on the top of the hill right up here. I don't know if I'm 
getting him or not. That's crazy. Okay, I don't know how much I got of that, but that coyote running, um, that's crazy. He's still right here. He's still right here. He's right there. And he's just running along. He doesn't, I mean, he kind of cares that I'm here, but he doesn't. He's just running alongside this road. See him? God, I hope you can see him. Look at him. Folks, I've never had this happen before. I've never happened up on a... On a wild animal like that that just didn't care. He just doesn't care that I'm sitting here. He probably won't run back out. Oh, he is. He's coming out in this field. See him? This is crazy. This is why I get out and do this stuff, guys. This is it. Is chance encounters like that with that coyote running across in front of my truck. Actually, I saw him in the field and I turned into the road and I'm actually on a road that I don't know where it goes. I'm going to turn around backtrack here in a minute, but that was freaking cool. I followed that coyote, God, probably a good four or 500 yards. And he just stayed alongside the road the whole time. He never wavered off or anything. Like I said, this little road is not on my, um, I mean, it's on my map. There's a cemetery back up that way. I'm not going. <laughs> I probably could make it, but I'm not going to try it. But uh, anyways, guys, that's, that's, that was cool. That was freaking awesome that I was actually able to follow him. You know, the only noise I was really making was the truck running and that was it. So it wasn't like I was making a whole bunch of noise and he was just, you know, he was running along. All right, let's see if we can find some other cool stuff. <laughs> That sounds bad. But anyway, guys, this is gorgeous right here. But I am fixing to turn around. We're going to backtrack up to the main road and keep on going. Turn the camera around and let you see it. Wind may be blowing a little hard, but look 
at the view from here. You're on top of the damn world. Look at that. That's Tennessee River. But this, this, dude, there's a boatload of campsites down there, up there, down there. So I'm pinning this on the Gaia. This is perfect. This is perfect. I mean, I, I could very easily do one of these sites. No problem getting back here. This is uh, Forest Service Road 171. Like I said, I'll pin it on Gaia. Um, it's gorgeous. Be kind of, yeah, I could do a tent. I could do a tent up here. You could do hammocks up here, almost. Um, yeah, this is very doable. Very doable, guys. And hey, look at the view. Look at the view. Look at that. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. I have found it. Uh, one of the things I will say on these four service roads, even if it's graveled, watch the potholes. You don't know how deep that thing's going to be. And you don't want to hit it full speed. Um, the other thing, go slow. I about had to take a ditch because some guy was flying through there. And I was like, what, what the hell, dude? Come on. There's no sense in that. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I may have to voice over this whole thing right here. But this works. This is gorgeous. I mean, look at the view behind me. That's the Tennessee River. Awesome. All right, we're going to backtrack and head on north. Okay, so we did the drive around the uh, elk and bison uh, prairie. Seen zero. Nothing. But I'm not mad. I donate. I mean, you're basically donating to keep this going, and I'm I'm okay with that. I got to see those bison back down the road, um, but I'll drop a couple pictures of the prairie. It's really pretty um, that I took with the camera. And now we're gonna go on and look and see if we can find more camping sites. We're I think we're halfway through, and it's one o'clock so i gotta be getting done and headed back towards the house at some point but we're gonna go check out some more camping sites possibilities of camping sites and then we'll move on all right guys i found another campsite this is one you have to have um permit to park camping also but uh i'll show you behind me what it looks like and then there's what you would be camping against. Look at that. Man, today's been a success. All right, we've got one more spot. We'll check, a, we'll stop by. All right, guys, I'm fixing to roll in some footage now. I'm driving back through the area where you can see where a tornado had come through this area and just leveled the trees and I mean, just piled them on top of piles of trees. But uh, it's amazing what Mother Nature will do. But uh, yet, this forest still tries to grow. It will grow. It will grow back. At least it wasn't man that did it. This was Mother Nature that did it. And she decides that uh, she wants to rearrange things. She does it. But anyways, we're headed back uh, to the main road. I didn't mean to come down this road. I did. Part of it. But uh, anyway. Onward. Upward. We are making good timing. It's getting close to 2 o'clock. i got one more little area I'd like to go check out. For possible camping at some point. But uh, we'll see. I, my plan was to be back on the road, back towards Nashville by no later than three. So like I said, it's 148 now, so see how it goes. But uh, we've already found that one awesome campsite. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, 
I dare say there's a lot more that we can get to. Um, we will see. Alright, bring you back. Okay, so we made down this other road. This is Pisgah Bay behind me. In campgrounds you can do there's an RV sitting here. <laughs> so it tells you what it's like to get down here. Um, but you can camp here. Just have to pay a fee, have a permit, and all that. So this is pretty. It's wide open. Um, I don't know how they, I guess you can drop anchor wherever you want into a good flat spot, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, pretty neat. Let's have a bathroom behind me, drop pod. But uh, we're going to hit back up the road. And we're not far from being out of this place. But uh, I'll turn around and let you see this. Alright, we did it. So we have covered the whole length of land between the lakes. Did I get to cover all the roads I wanted to? No, didn't even get a third. Um, so that means we got to come back. Um, Bill showed interest to in coming up here and doing what I was doing today. So I may come back, bring him with me, and he can help shoot some videos and all that good stuff. Uh, U.S. Forestry Service. I know you're a non-profit, but I want to buy a sticker that says U.S. Forest. I want it on my truck. There. Right there. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. We will be back to camp at some point. We will be back to ride some more roads. Beautiful place. Time to go home. Don't forget to check your links down below. Help Mid-10 Outdoors any, can, any way you can. But that's it for this one, guys. I'm headed home. Be prepared. See you on the next one.